Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be going over Emissaries and Sea of Thieves. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Okay, to get started, Emissaries were released in Season 2 of Sea of Thieves to freshen up the game and offer something more to play for, that being gaining the title Pirate Legend and getting bonus gold when turning in your loot to your Emissary. So, how does all of this work? Well, first things first, there are a total of four Emissaries, not counting Athena's Fortune, which is reserved for Pirate Legends. You have Gold Hoarders, which takes most chests and trinkets. There's Order of Souls, who takes cursed bounty skulls and mermaid gems well any skull then there's the merchant alliance who takes any crates gunpowder barrels or mermaid gems and last you have the reapers they will accept any item in the game and pay you extra depending on your grade this is partly due to the fact that as a reaper you are marked on the map for everyone to see so let's start with how to get one of these emissaries it's pretty simple you'll go up to the person who's a rep for the emissary you'll then speak with the rep and choose browse resources and commodities here you should see quest in your current ranking for the certain emissary. If you have not yet, you will have to pay a $20,000 gold fee or a one-time purchase for a license to the emissary. Once you have the license, you'll go over to the emissary's table and vote to raise the emissary flag. Once the flag is raised, any treasure you pick up and place on your ship will now make your grade go higher, meaning a bigger bonus in gold. Keep in mind though, your grade only goes higher if you're picking up specific loot for that emissary. If, for example, if you're a gold hoarder picking up a cursed skull, that doesn't make your emissary go up, or your grade go up. Only things such as chests and trinkets and things that the gold hoarders want will increase your grade. That doesn't mean you should abandon loot that doesn't match your emissary's wants, because at the end of the day, you can still sell that loot, you just won't get a bonus for it. Also, if you're enjoying the video, make sure to like and subscribe all right now let's continue bonus gold is something to be loved but another perk of the emissaries is getting the title of pirate legend a current title only 0.36 percent of players have on top of that you also unlock athena's fortune emissary so how do you get pirate legend well it's simple but can take some time you'll need to reach level 50 and at least three emissaries and no it doesn't matter what three you pick the choice is yours so we've talked about all the good that comes with emissaries but let's touch on the bad when ranking up your level is displayed on the flag of your ship so if you're a level 5 gold hoarder, any bypassing ship can see this, uh, and they'll know you probably have a ton of loot on board, which most of the time is going to end in a battle. On top of this, if there's a reaper ship in your server that has managed to crawl its way to level 5, it then knows your location at all times, no matter what rank you are. And believe me, those reaper ships get paid a lot when coming and taking your emissary's flag. So don't be surprised if they decide to go ahead and attempt to sink your ship. Uh, it, it happens. It happens to the best of us. And I mean, you, you can't get around the PvP, so you might as well just try to learn it in the process. But that's all for this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.